Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a realistic folder mockup in Photoshop using an image. Let's get started. If you'd like to download an image for practice or a folder mockup, you can find the link in the description. Open the image in Photoshop. First of all, draw a rectangle. As we are creating a mockup for a file folder, draw the rectangle with a width of 9 inches and a height of 12 inches. This would be 648 pixels in width and 864 pixels in height. Select the fill color gray and remove the stroke as we don't need the stroke. Now double click on the rectangle layer name and rename this layer to place your design here. Right click the rectangle layer and select convert to smart object. This will allow you to easily edit the design later. With the Smart Object layer selected, press Ctrl-T to enter Free Transform mode. Right-click and choose Distort to adjust the perspective of the folder. Using Distort will let you match the angles of the rectangle to the angles of the folder in the image, making the design appear more realistic. To align the Smart Object layer with the folder image underneath, decrease the opacity of the Smart Object to around 88%. This reduced opacity will allow you to see the folder image beneath, making it easier to match the angles of the smart object to the folder's angles. Use the zoom function to, to closely examine and match the angles of the smart object with the folder image underneath. This will give you a better view of how well the angles align. Right-click on the Smart Object and select Warp. Use the Warp option to adjust the placement and fit of the Smart Object onto the folder precisely. For better control, use a 4x4 grid, which divides the area into smaller sections and helps you achieve a more accurate and even alignment. Zoom in to get a closer view of how the smart object aligns with the folder. Carefully adjust the curve handles to precisely fit the smart object into place, ensuring it conforms accurately to the contours and dimensions of the folder. Fine-tuning these handles will help you achieve a seamless and precise placement.
When you're satisfied with the warp settings and the smart object is precisely aligned, click the tick mark or press enter to commit the transformation. Now reset the opacity of the smart object back to 100%. Then change the blending mode of the smart object to multiply to help it blend seamlessly with the folder image. Now turn off the visibility of the smart object layer. Select the background layer and use the quick selection tool or any other selection tool to select the folder area. Click on the area where you want to make the selection. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the selection into a new layer. Press Ctrl J again to create two copies, one for highlights and one for shadows. Next, turn the Smart Object layer back on. Double-click the Smart Object layer to open it in a new window. To place your folder design inside this window, go to the File menu and select Place Embedded. Browse to the location where your folder design is saved, select the design, and then save it with Control S. Close the window with Control W. Your design will now appear on the folder in the main document. Now drag the shadow layer and highlight layer above the smart object layer. Turn off the highlight layer and select the shadow layer. Change the blending mode of the shadow layer to multiply. Next, add a Curves Adjustment layer above the Shadow layer and clip it to the Shadow layer. This allows you to adjust the shadows without affecting other layers. Use the Hand tool within the Curves Adjustment layer to click on the areas where you want to enhance the shadows. As you adjust the shadows, you might notice that there's too much blue in certain areas. To reduce the blue color, switch to the blue channel in the Curves panel. Click on the area where the blue color is most prominent, then lower the curve slightly to decrease the blue intensity, balancing the shadows for a more natural look. Now turn on the highlight layer. Change the blending mode of the highlight layer to soft light. Next, add a curves adjustment layer above the highlight layer and clip it to the highlight layer. Use the Hand tool within the Curves Adjustment layer to click on the areas where you want to enhance the light, adjusting the curve to achieve the desired brightness and contrast. Group the shadow and highlight layers together and rename the group Light and Shadow. Click on the group and adjust the opacity of the light and shadow layers to blend the shadows and highlights naturally. For this design, setting the opacity of the highlight layer to 48% looks good and the opacity of the shadow layer to 68% works well. Adjust the opacity according to your design requirements to ensure the design looks realistic and blends seamlessly with the background. That's it. Your folder mockup is now ready. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials. See you next time.